Hi everybody. Today I want to talk a little bit about split reins. Um, there's basically three kinds of reins that I use when training a horse. The first one is, is with a hackamore. I use a mecate. And then on a, any type of finish bit or one-handed bit, I like to use a romal. But uh, with any type of snaffle or two-handed bit, I always use split reins. And so I'd like to tell, I'd like to show you how there's th three different ways I handle them. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The first thing is when I when I get on a horse, my right rein is going to be over his neck already. Then I'm going to put my left rein over, and that leaves the tail of this right rein underneath my left rein. So I'm going to pick it up and put it on the outside. I don't like to have a rein on the inside when I'm when I'm reining a horse. So the first method that I use is is two-handed and I just have one rein in each hand like this. I like the fingertip control it gives me. A lot of people will ride with with a bridge like this. I just don't like that. I, I don't feel like I get as much finesse with it. Okay so that's the first one two-handed like this. I can use a uh, neck rein and a direct rein with either hand. The second way I use split reins is just palm down. I have both reins in my left hand. This way I can use my, my pinky finger to give a direct rein or my index finger to the opposite side. And if you, if you are left-handed or if you ride with your reins in your right hand, you would just reverse that. Okay, now I've got my, my reins here. This is the third way that I use them. I'm going to use them like a romal. And you can see the reins are X'd right here. And all I do is I get a hold of my left rein and push it forward. And I pick up the right rein like this. And I've got them both coming up through the bottom of my hand like a romal. I have a tail on each side. So again, I just take a hold of my left rein. You get where you don't even have to look. Get your left rein, put your thumb in between it and your right rein, and pick your hand up. And you got a ready-made Romal type rein. So just to recap, one in each hand, like this. Both in one hand, palms down. So I, I can use direct rein and neck rein. And then the third way, like a Romal. Grab my left rein. Move it ahead, pick up my right rein, and they both come through the bottom of my hand. Now let me tell you some specifications that I like and don't like about reins. Let me get this other bridle here. Years ago, I had a bridle in my hands like this, and I was running across an arena. And when I was doing that, the tails of the reins kept whacking me in the knee and it hurt. So I looked at the reins and they were cut like this to a point. And I don't know if you can get a close up of this. You can see there's a little ball on the end of it. Just with time and sweat and dirt accumulating, it got hard and there's a little ball on the end. It's like a little tiny ball peen hammer hitting you in the knee every, every step. So at that time I was using long reins, eight foot or eight foot plus. And I could see on my horses they were hanging down down low like that. And I figured if they were hitting my knees, they were probably hitting my horse's knees too. So he was getting punished at every step. So the first thing I did was I cut my reins back to seven foot. I make them, I make my own now, and I make them seven foot plus the two inches here for the tie, or the water tie. Then the second thing I did, I rounded the ends off so there's no point on it. And I also, I tapered them a little bit so, so they, they got thinner toward the end so they weren't so hard and blunt. Um, as far as the reins themselves, I like to use 5 8 harness leather reins. And when you, when you make reins 
out of a side of leather, the side is not split, so one end is going to be heavier than the other end. And I like to put the, the heavy end toward the front. Um, some people like the heavy end down here at the tail, but I just feel like that adds to weight and the banging effect. Plus, I like the heavier weight up here by the, by the bridle. So, I think that's, that's about it. Um, if any of this makes sense to you, and if you'd like to try it, you're welcome to it. Uh, you might want to use a little bit longer range if you ride bigger horses. Just kind of depends on what kind of horses you ride. But um, anyway, that's, that's the way I like to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.